Hi, I'm Jason. As a teenager in Minnesota, I loved doing two things, hanging out with my dad and making movies. I actually shot 19 short movies with my friends from school, and while my dad liked them, I wanted to make a film that he loved. So I decided to make a movie about something he and I were really into, car racing. When I was 15, I wrote a script about a guy that raced as a Suzu Pop pickup truck in the Indianapolis 500. And my dad got totally into it. He built me a full-sized indie car cockpit. I convinced a cast and crew of 25 people to help make costumes and sets. We even got a real racetrack to let us shoot there. 500 Miles to Indy was to be my magnum opus, the movie that finally made my dad proud. Unfortunately, something went wrong. And all that remains is this, my original script. Today, thanks to the help of Mortified, I can finally bring my epic vision to life. When I wrote it, of course, I had all these fantasies that it would be full of uh, big, incredible Hollywood stars and stuff like that. And tonight, in what is sure to be the most surreal night of my life, those dreams come true. <laughs> Scene one, racetrack, early morning, time trials, light fog. Through the fog on the track appears a blue 1986 Isuzu Pup pickup truck. Damn, teenager, get off the track! The truck pulls up and stops at the starting line. What the Sam hell do you think you're doing? I don't think we've met. I'm Hobart Drizzle. <laughs> Any of you guys tell me who car number one is? Well, Hobart, that's, uh, J.J. Logan. What kind of track record? Pretty nice from the looks of it. A lot of first place marks, including three Indy wins. Suddenly, Logan's car passes him very quickly. Holy cow! <laughs> and just like that, Logan wins the race. Logan removes the helmet, and long hair falls out. It reveals that, in fact, she is quite female. Drizzle is totally in love, but still totally cool. The garage door opens. It is the enigmatic woman driver, J.J. Logan. She walks slowly to the front of Hobart's truck, caresses the door frame, and eyes its hood. This your Zuzu in the race today? Uh, yes, ma'am, it was. How far are you planning to go with this thing? The other drivers look at Hobart. <laughs> as far as it'll take me. Evil race car driver Emil Spoto <laughs> leads Hobart to the top of a high hill. Everything you see belongs to me. What do you think? <laughs> Hobart, how would you like to own this estate? Own the people. <laughs> what? Watch. He snaps his fingers at the gardener and points to some flowers. What are these? Gladolias, sir. They look awful. Get rid of them. Yes, sir. True power. <laughs> Join me, Drizzle. Join the Spottle Racing Team. With you at my side, we will take Indy by storm, and the trophy will be ours. The only thing that matters once you've won is who you have on your side. What strings you can pull and what lives you control makes the difference in being a winner of a car race and a legend among men. If people can't live without you, you will never die. I've been from one end of this place to another and I've seen some pretty crazy people. But ain't none of them ever said something as crazy as what you just told me. <laughs> You'll probably win a lot of races, Mr. Spoto. Become a rich and powerful man. But you know something? After a while, nobody's gonna be on your side when you win anymore. If you win Indy, your pit crew won't pour champagne on your head. Cause you might fire them. 
and nobody will make you dinner. Hey, Drizzle, there's a crash on Pit Road. The firemen rush out and put out the fire. But the medics rush to get the racer to an ambulance. Who is it? It's a first place driver. Well, that's JJ. Is she okay? I don't know. CPR isn't working. A medic up and pounds on JJ's chest. Medics shock her. She does not respond. What's going on? Hobart, um... Uh, oh, jeez, JJ's dead. <laughs> now, after four hours of shooting, uh, in the 92 degree sun, I thought I'd check the tape. Static. The camera was broken. I had a second camera, but all the batteries were dead. So after four hours of shooting out in the 92 degree sun with 55 people who'd driven two hours just to get there and my dad watching me, I had to go thank everyone for coming and tell them that it was time to go home. And I felt like such an idiot because my dad was right there. <laughs> so later that night after we all went home and my dad helped me put all the props away and uh, I just, I told him I felt so stupid uh, that I got all those people to come out there on account of me and waste their time and that I got him to take a day off of work for some stupid movie that didn't even work. But he smiled at me and he put his arm around me and he said, you know what? There are worse ways to spend the day. And now we go to the real Indy 500 just about every year. So... So this is the never-before-seen ending to 500 miles to Indy that we couldn't film that day because the cameras were broke. Engine and track noises fade away. The audience stands and takes off their hats. J.J. Logan, legendary hero woman driver, is dead. Drizzle's face twists into an expression of anger. He faces forward and roars out of the pits as the crew chief watches. The crowd goes wild. It's lap 194, only six more laps until the checkered flag falls and the Indianapolis 500 is over. And Hobart Drizzle is fighting for the lead. Drizzle races hard and passes cars left and right. The crowd is going crazy. He passes the crew chief who gives him a nod. Go for it, Hobart. He catches up to the leader, Emil Spoto, his mortal enemy. who fights hard. Drizzle's truck is shaking apart. They take a hard corner, neck and neck. A hubcap flies off and bounces away. Now they're side by side with one lap to go. He looks through his side window at Spoto. You're nothing, Drizzle! You should have joined me when you had the chance. Who are you even racing for? Drizzle turns forward, grips the steering wheel, close on Hobart's eyes. For JJ. He jams on the gas and races for all he's got. At the finish line, the winner is... Hobart Drizzle by only three inches. The closest finish in racing history. The crew leaps and hugs each other. Cameras flash. The crew is jovial. <laughs> Drizzle rolls down his window, drives away on the open highway. He faced impossible odds and never gave up. He's a real winner. Drizzle and his pickup disappear in the distance while the credits roll. The end.